In addition to being imprisoned, Sun was deprived of political rights for life and all his personal property was confiscated. Sun had been elevated to the party's elite 25-member Politburo and was the top official in the western megacity of Chongqing before suddenly being removed in July. He pleaded guilty to the charges and expressed repentance, according to Tianjin's number no. 1 Intermediate People's Court, which imposed his sentence less than one month after the trial opened in a relatively swift resolution of the case. In return for the bribes, Sun and his associates allegedly provided assistance to unspecified organizations and individuals with engineering contracts, business operations and other matters, the court said. Experts say announced figures in corruption cases are often only a fraction of the real amounts involved, part of an effort by the party to avoid stirring public outrage. Despite Sun's conviction on criminal charges, Chinese leaders and party-run media have made it clear that Sun's offenses were largely political in nature. At a party meeting last year, a senior official stated that Sun and other senior figures prosecuted in XI's anti-corruption crackdown were conspiring openly to usurp party leadership. Sun had been expelled from the party and dismissed from public office in September because he was suspected of serious discipline violations, a phrase that usually refers to bribery but increasingly also includes political disloyalty. He was replaced in Chongqing by XI protege Chen Minner, who was subsequently promoted to the Politburo. Sun had been identified most closely with the party's China Youth League faction associated with XI's predecessor, Hu Jintao which XI who also heads the ruling party has effectively sidelined in his consolidation of power. XI in March saw through a constitutional amendment removing term limits on the presidency, setting himself up to remain head of state indefinitely. In such political cases, investigators generally have little difficulty finding evidence of corruption, given the opportunities to exploit one's office and the large family networks eager to take advantage, Ding said. However, bringing political charges would be extremely explosive for a party intent on keeping secret its inner processes, factional rivalries and methods of distributing power and privilege, Ding said. Charging with corruption allows all the convenience of not releasing sensitive data while permitting the party to destroy, Sun's, reputation, he said. Sun's case recalls that of Bozilla, one of his predecessors as Chongqing party chief, who was once considered among the country's most ambitious politicians and a potential rival to XI. Bo was sentenced to life in prison in 2013 for corruption. Other high-profile figures to fall in XI's campaign include, Zhou Yongkong, a retired member of the party's all-powerful Politburo Standing Committee, and Guo Bixheng, a former top general. Both are serving life prison terms after being convicted of corruption or other misconduct.